Hey and uh, welcome to our short video tutorial about fixture attributes and basic information about fixtures. My name is Fabian Owing. I'm scientific assistant at the Hamburg University of Applied Science in the Light Lab and together with Event Elevator we would like to give you some assistance. The idea behind this video is that many people in our branch have to decide to invest in new fixtures, fixtures with LED, not knowing what attributes are important to decide. You all may know the problem that in uh, former times we had fixtures divided in different classes, such as the 700 classes wash lights or 1500 watt classes. We are always talking about the electrical power of the fixture or of the lamp. This gives us an idea, or gave us an idea, what our fixture could give as output. Today with LED fixtures it's not that easy anymore, so we cannot decide about the electrical power. You may have a fixture with less electrical power, bringing more light output to what you want. When the electrical power is no longer interesting for us to decide about our fixture, we need some new values, some basic facts manufacturer should give us to decide what fixture is even the brightest. So today we will talk about outputs. It's important to know what is the output of our fixture and how to decide it. There is one important attribute, the uh, illuminance measured in looks, which always gave us information. So many manufacturers offer you a value of lux in a distance of meters. This is one option to decide how bright your fixture is. Of course, you need to know that this value is always measured in the narrow beam of a fixture. One next value you can decide to is the lumen output of our fixtures. The lumen output is given to you by the manufacturers, at least of many manufacturers. So, we have the values lux and lumen. What's the difference and what brings us this as information for deciding to our fixtures? The lux is the illuminance measured in your face or even on a screen or floor where the light depends on. The other problem is lumen output is just all the light coming out of our fixture. So every, every single light part getting out of our fixture is included in this lumen package. The lumen output is just showing us the information of everything getting out of the fixture, while the illuminance measured in looks is just giving us information how bright it may be at a special point in our set. So if your fixture has, for example, 14,000 lumens, you just need to know the beam angle of your fixture, it is just showing out, and the distance to your object you want to illuminate. And then you can just calculate how bright it will be and how many looks you will get on your object screen or maybe a face of an actor. If you will have some shootouts with your fixtures, you can as well measure just the illuminance in looks and can recalculate how many lumens your fixture really will have. Because of course manufacturers offer you lots of lumen output values, but you can just recalculate and see if this is true. To show you the difference between looks and lumen and the values your manufacturer offers you, we have placed some fixtures here. The first one is our classic 700 watt class fixture, the Alpha Wash 700, one of the classes where we would decide about the uh, lamp inside, the 700 watt lamp, what fixture we would use. On the other side, we have, for example, three LED spotlights. They are from different manufacturers and they have different LED engines they are using. Many manufacturers offer you just the lumen output or you need to compare it. So for knowing what output your manufacturer means, we need to look at these fixtures. Here, beside our 700 watt class, we have three different LED spotlights. They're from different manufacturers and they are using different engines. So all these manufacturers offer you the lumen output of your fixture. But some manufacturers just give you a lumen output and this may be not the output of our fixture. So let's just have a look inside the fixtures. All our fixtures are using LED engines at the bottom. And all these parts you know from conventional lamps or from discharge moving lights, such as gobos, color wheels, prism, frost filters, zoom, and many different things. So for example, this fixture has an LED engine producing 21,000 lumen, but in all these inner parts, you get loss of lumen output, so our output of the fixture is just 14,000 lumens. Take care about that, what your manufacturer offers you to take care 
that you do not talk about these lumens here, but these lumens over here. You can always recalculate this to your illuminance, to Lux, to compare it to other fixtures you already know. If you want to talk about the efficiency of your fixture, it's no longer important to talk just about the electrical power, but you can compare the lumen output to the electrical power and then compare your fixtures. How many lumen per watt will your manufacturer offer you? This gives you good information about the efficiency of your fixture. So what is the key fact of this video? You cannot longer decide which fixture you should take just about the electrical power or about the power of your engine inside. You need to compare the output of your fixture. This is not only for moving lights. All these facts are of course for every fixture and you can of course compare your lumen output of a discharge fixture with the lumen output of an LED fixture. We learned that Although these fixtures have both engines using 350 watt, they are not having the same output because of different parts inside your fixture, optical problems and maybe some filters, gobos or whatever. So if you want to talk about the output of your fixture, take care about the lumen output or the measured looks in a special distance with a special angle. If you want to talk about efficiency of your fixtures, you can talk about lumen per watt so you know how many lumens you get out of less electrical power.